första i höst som man där sagt snöbollen började att rulla har jag faktiskt då skönt att det ville bli en realitet så gradvis har jag försökt att bygga det upp mot da, denne dagen men jag visste ju inte när den dagen kom They met in the summer of 1959 at a party a private party run or given by a classmate of Harold's, his best friend, Johann Stenersen. And Sonja had lost her father just a few weeks before that, and she wasn't really in a party mood. But another friend said, you, you should go to a party, Sonja. I mean, you can't just sit there and grieve. And then she went to the party, and there for the first time, she saw Harold. And Harold has later told, that he was so infatuated with her brown eyes that he decided to invite her to the ball when he graduated from his military service that same summer. Sonja is maar een gewoon burgemeisje dat in het modehuis van haar vader werkt. Een relatie met een prins is in die tijd ondenkbaar. She was a daughter of a salesman and uh... And there was really a big fight for King Harald uh, to be able to marry her. De regering en de koning maken zich grote zorgen over de liefde van kroonprins Harald voor dit meisje. Twice before 1968, the palace denied that the crown prince had any intention of marrying a commoner. Our king, Olaf at the time, was not at all against Sonja. He was just of the old school and convinced that the monarchy couldn't take a common bride. They even tried to uh, move away from each other. I know that once uh, Sonia moved away abroad uh, and they tried to forget, uh, they didn't succeed in that. So, I mean, it must have been such strong love. He said if he couldn't have Sonia, he would remain unmarried. And of course, with one, one son and Two daughters who were married with commoners and couldn't inherit anyway. That would have meant the end of the Norwegian monarchy. So, uh, in the end, the king had to uh, say yes. Yeah, it's a blending of expectations and spending, which you will always be when a father, and especially a father who is not here. En ekte fel å støtte seg til skal gi sin tilladelse og tro på at hans eneste sønn skal gifte seg. Na negen jaar lang wachten kregen Sonja en Harald eindelijk toestemming om te trouwen. Det har vært et nervepress, særlig for Sonja, dette å gå sånn i så mange år uten å føle at at hun hadde noen støtte noe sted, at hun hele tiden måtte bare klare seg selv. Og jeg må si gift at, i hvert fall for min egen del, er det absolutt en befrielse nå å kunne stå frem og ha sine meninger mot, i hvert fall. Op 29 augustus 1968 geven Sonja en Harald elkaar het ja-woord in de Domkerk in Oslo. En dan de wedding day. En je weet, onze king Olaf at the time, hij besluit om te show his approval of the wedding. He should lead her to the altar because she had lost her father and he led her up to the altar where Harold was standing. The special thing about Harald and Sonia uh, was the fight uh, and that he actually had to, to tell his father that if I am not allowed to marry this girl, I want to marry her. And I think that's very, very romantic. <laughs> 